हेलो मेट्स आई एम करण जाधव हियर इन दिस सेशन आई विल टीच यू जावा मेल ई पी आई यूजिंग स्प्रिंग बूट विथ मल्टीपल पार्टिसिपेंट्स लाइक टू सी सी एंड बी सी सी नाउ वील स्टार्ट विथ यवर प्रैक्टिकल सेशन हियर देन सिंपली कम अप विथ द क्रोम ब्राउजर एंड टाइप देर स्प्रिंग इनिशलाइजर देन हियर वी आर सिलेक्टिंग द प्रोजेक्ट एज मेवेन द लैंग्वेज एज जावा द स्प्रिंग बूट लेटेस्ट वर्जन वी आर यूजिंग हियर द प्रोजेक्ट मेटेड अटैक मीन्स इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट अवर प्रोजेक्ट I am giving here the base package name as com dot full stack and the application name I am mentioning here Spring Boot Mail API example. Now refactor the base package packaging as jar Java version 17. Adding dependencies here dev tool for live load lumbok it will help us to reduce the boilerplate code like we are able to we don't require the getter setters here manually. Next. We are adding Spring Web itself available in build Tomcat server. It will help us to create the REST API. Next, we are adding here. This will be our Java Mail Sender. Send email using Java Mail and Spring Framework. Java Mail Sender. Then simply click on Generate. This is the great feature in Spring Boot. Within a minute, production ready. Application will be available. Then coming to our folder, simply paste our application. and then right click and go ahead with the extract the application once extraction is done we'll copy the path of our application and coming to intelligi idea simply come up with the file new project from existing sources then once you are going to the project from existing sources give the path of our application then see click on okay then this is maven project again click on create trust with new window i want to open in another window then coming to pom.xml file then here we are just adding the swagger ui dependency then swagger ui dependency i will add it from my local application the swagger ui dependency version we are using here 2.7.0 once dependency is added then lumbok perspective i am just going to add those plugins and there i am giving the hard coded lumbok dependency version now coming to src main resources we have available their properties file the properties file i am just adding from my existing application yes then here we have given this is the username actually and the password i will show you how to generate this password also for password perspective you can simply come up with the chrome browser and you can simply come up with the profile icon then there is a option available manage your google account once you click on that next option available security and here you can simply click on app password and if you are not able to see the app password here then you have one more option available you can simply slow, uh, scroll down and there is available two step verification then here you can get it on actually in your case if it's off you can simply click on that and get it on now in my case it's already two step verification is on then i'm just coming to security then here you can simply pass app password and see app password available here now simply click on that next step you can simply give the your google credentials there what your password you have available and then you can give the app name i'm just giving the app name as email example now simply click on create see within minute like the password is created then click on done now again coming to our intelligi i am simply changing this password here once it done simply come up with the maven and then start the build of our application mun clean space install see it will take some time then meanwhile i will simply come up with the base package right click on that i am just creating here package as model package next package we are giving the package name as service package now i am creating one more package package name as controller package then coming to model package i am creating here new java class as this will be email model and coming to service here new java class as email service and within controller we are creating new java class as email controller now coming to email model but meanwhile you can simply check build is success once build is success 
will reload our project. Now coming to our email model, this is our you can simply select Pojo class. I am just adding here at rate data itself available getter setter and true string at rate all the constructor it means parameterized constructor no constructor it means default constructor we don't require any entity because we are not going to first that into database now i am just adding here private this will be string and we are giving here to email and this is for multiple participant that's why i am using here array of string next private this will be string and we are adding here cc email again i am using array only next private string this will be bcc email private string this will be you can say email have subject private string email have body private string email have attachment attachment it will be pdf file image whatever you want to add there now coming to email service annotate with here at the rate service annotation and inside that we are just using at the rate auto y8 then i am adding here private this will be java mail center this is interface now we are just adding here method method is public this will be wide send email and we are getting the input from swagger ui then this will be you can simply say payload we are passing email model itself available to cc bcc subject attachment and email body then first we are just going to add here my message my message equal to java mail center dot create my message then i am creating the object of my message helper here my message helper equal to new my message helper and giving the input as my message and the boolean value i am passing here true here we are just going to handle the exception this is messaging exception you can simply say coming with the more action surround with the try catch see messaging exception this is the compile time exception we handle here now we are just adding here my message helper dot set from it means we need to say like which email you are going to send the email for that perspective we have available option dot properties there we have available properties as spring dot mail dot username then here we are just trying to read this value that's why I am first creating the variable here private string this will be from email now you can simply say this is the variable here then how to read the properties value you can simply use the value annotation coming from spring boot uh, sorry spring itself then we are just going to pass here our double quotes then dollar sign symbol you can simply use and then open curly brace and inside that we are passing our property name spring dot mail dot username like at the rate value annotation it will help us to read the data from properties file see here is the properties file we are reading this data by using at the rate value annotation now coming down here you can simply mention this variable name from email see perfect now we are adding here my message helper dot set to then to we are getting the value from email model dot by using getter to email same for my mess helper dot set cc we are getting it from email model dot get cc next is my message helper dot set bcc same thing we are passing here email model dot get bcc now my message helper dot set subject and we are getting it from email model dot get email subject my message helper dot set text it means email body we are getting it from email model dot get email body now for attachment perspective we are just passing here file system resource class see this is coming from spring framework itself file system resource equal to new file system resource and in that i am just passing here new file we are passing here email model dot get attachment then next we are passing here my message helper dot add attachment then you can simply say this will be file system resource dot get file name and corresponding reference also we are passing here file system resource and now you can simply call here java mail center dot send and we are passing here my message control a alt control l but if you want to add any logs here then 
you can simply use at the rate SLF4J. This is coming from Lumbo only. And once like email sent successfully, we are just adding the log, log.info you can say. And here we are trying to print it like mail sent successfully. This will be print in console. Now coming to email controller, this is our API layer. Annotate with at the rate rest controller itself available at the rate response body as well. We are using here at the rate request mapping and the base URI I am giving here mail. Now we are adding here at the rate auto wired. This will be private, you can say email service. Now I am adding here post mapping and giving the API name as send. This will be public response entity and type it will be where written string type of message and the method is send email. We are passing here request body. This request body we are getting it from as the request builder from Swagger UI a Postman API. Then I am passing a request body for email model. Now you can simply call here email service dot send email and we are giving the input as email model and we are returning here response entity dot ok and I am returning message as email sent successfully ending with semicolon. Now everything is done we are ready to start our application that's why I am coming to main class main method and simply start our application. We are expecting the application goes to work on port number is 8080. We are just waiting to see application up and running and the port number it will go to use 8080. See one screen. Then we required there some uh, like request payload for that perspective I have available request payload ready. Then I will pass the same request payload. In your case, you can simply come up with the Swagger UI localhost 8080 forward slash swagger hyphen dot html and coming to our API, just try it out. Then here, here you can simply pass your two email and comma separated. I can you can pass here multiple email IDs. Okay, but in my case, I have request payload ready. Then I'm just going to add this request payload. You can add your email subject, email body, and everything. I am just trying here. See, this is like two email I am passing here contact address full stack java developer dot in again I am passing the one more email id here gmail as well I am passing okay even cc also I am passing here current dot zadav again I am passing here the next email id bcc also I am passing some email id here the email subject I am giving congratulations and here email body I am giving hello welcome to full stack java developer pune and I want to pass here uh, like logo of full stack java developer that's why it's available in my local this d drive that's why I am giving the path here and same thing you can pass if you have available such a things then simply click on execute once you are going to click on execute it will send to email as well then I want to show you how the email goes to receive that's why I am just trying it full stack java developer dot in webmail and once you are trying here to log in it I am passing here kiran dot zadhav at the rate full stack java developer dot in passing here password just login once it login we are expecting the today's timestamp will be available email also there and in swagger ui we are expecting the message email sent successfully now if you are coming down here here also you will get the log log is mail sent successfully and if you want to check gmail as well right then i will show you the full stack java developer gmail there will be available also mail see I am just trying to show you whatever mail we have sent successfully there, right? This mail will be received at full stack java developer gmail as well. See here is email available. See the timestamp, everything available like zero minutes, right? In within seconds, mail available. The subject also available. The message also available. Multiple participants we pass here like CC to BCC, right? Every sorry, BCC you are not able to see here, but two and CC you are able to see. I hope you are aware of what is two, what is CC. To it means required participant, CC it means carbon copy, you can simply say those are the people, those are the optional here. And BCC you are not able to see here because this is like hide, you can simply say. Then if you want to check by full stack java developer dot in as well, then I will show you this email also. Uh, simply come up with here 
see this is the mail here we got it yeah like such a way uh, we have received the email as well then I hope you got the clarity like how the email API works here and we handle this session from scratch each and every line then if you are facing any difficulties feel free to add your errors in comment box I will be here to happy to help you and thanks for watching this video please do like share and subscribe the channel to get more updates upcoming sessions I will take care of deep dive into full stack development like spring boot and the react as well yeah and see you in next video